Hey there, folks! Today we're gonna talk about everyone's favorite topic – garbage. But don't worry, we're not talking about your messy room. We are talking about garbage collection in JavaScript. So what is the garbage collection? Well, in JavaScript, every time you create an object or variable, it takes up memory. And if you are not careful, that memory can add up pretty quickly and create a leak. That's where garbage collection comes in. Garbage collection is the process of automatically freeing up memory that is no longer being used by your program. Basically, it's like having a personal assistant who comes in and cleans up all your mess for you. How convenient, right? JavaScript uses a technique called mark and sweep for garbage collection. It works like this. First, garbage collector creates a list of roots, which are typically global variables that have references in the code. In JavaScript, the window object is an example of such global variable that acts as a root. Afterward, it inspects and marks all the roots as active, meaning they are not garbage. Also, it recursively checks all the child objects, so anything that can be reached from a root, consider it non-garbage. And finally, it sweeps the memory by removing any objects that were not marked, effectively returning memory to the operating system. That's awesome! But why we still have memory leakage sometimes? There are four main reasons why – undeclared or accidental global variables. In mark and sweep algorithm, references directly pointing to the root are always considered active, and garbage collector cannot clear them. This can lead to a memory leak. To address this issue, you can nullify these variables after using them or enable use strict mode. Forgotten callbacks and timers. In this code, we have a web page with a button. The setup page function attaches an event listener to it. The event listener keeps a reference to the handle click function, even when the button is removed from DOM. This prevents proper garbage collection and unnecessarily occupies memory. To prevent memory leaks in this case, always remove event listeners when they are no longer needed. Same goes with timers. Interval needs to be stopped to be collected. Its dependencies cannot be collected either in this case, so you can easily create memory leak. Don't forget to manually clear your intervals. Closures. Closures are powerful functions that have access to the variables from their outer scope. Unlike regular function scope variables that are cleaned up after the function finished running, the closure keep references to the outer scope variables even after execution. This can lead to a memory leak when unused variables are stored in memory. Here we have a memoized double function that catches the result of doubling number using an inner function. This inner function has access to the cache object and index of element variable from its outer scope. When we call double for multiple times, it doubles the number and stores the result in the cache object. However, previous results are not removed, leading to a memory leak. To prevent memory leaks, it is crucial to manage and use variables stored in closures. Consider implementing mechanism like limiting cache size. Out of DOM references. Imagine you have a table and need to update multiple rows quickly. Storing references to DOM rows in a dictionary can be helpful. When you store reference to a DOM element in data structure, two references to the same element are maintained. One in a DOM tree and the other in a data structure. But here's the catch. If at some point in future you decide to remove these rows, you must ensure that both references become unreachable. To prevent leaks, remove entry from the data structure and delete the corresponding DOM element. This ensures efficient memory management. And that's how garbage collector works in JavaScript. It may seem like magic, but actually it's a sophisticated process that helps our programs running smoothly. Thanks for watching, and remember to let garbage collector do its job. See you in the next one.